Hey guys, my name is Lorenzo and today we are here in Italy and we are about to go up the Skyway to show you a little thing or two about ice access, which one you need for which situation. I can't wait, let's go. So we're now in the lift from the Monte Bianco Skyway that descends from the bottom of Courmayeur all the way up to the glacier to Punta Helbronu. Now there are a few precautions that we should take before we head out onto the glacier. This is roping up, making sure you have the right equipment, cramp on up and then we're ready to go. Now buying an ice axe that is right for your situation can sometimes be a daunting task. With all the availability going on, you have straight shaft ice axes, you have ice tools which are more for steeper ice, you have lightweight, you have heavyweight. What do you need? Well, luckily for you, today we're going to show you here in beautiful Italy. Now let's start off with the classic beginner tool, the straight shaft ice axe. Now this is used for anything that when you're progressing into the sport, when you're hiking on glaciers, when you're ascending steep slope, this can do anything. As was mentioned earlier, choosing your ice axe that is right for your situation might be a daunting task with all the availability that there is on the market. You can be on the heavy side of the spectrum like the Grieval AirTag, which is an entry level or general mountaineering axe made of steel. So it can withstand a lot of abuse. Now on the other side of the spectrum, we have the Camp Corsa Alpine, which is very packable, ultra lightweight, but made of aluminum. So it's less durable. So currently I am carrying my Camp Corsa Alpine. Now, I personally really like this axe because it's very lightweight, it's very versatile, I can use it for ski touring which is great for the Alps, I can use it for mountaineering and it barely takes up any space. So my preference personally for a walking axe goes to short and aluminium. But to note, you can't make T-slot anchors with this, it's too fragile. So if you don't know, go with a heavier axe. Now let's get more technical because as your level increases in mountaineering you tend to move towards more steeper ice or snow. What did we choose for this? The Black Diamond Viper for instance. Now these usually come with an adze or a hammer and you usually use them in pairs. Now they can use as singular as well for walking on the glacier but they shine on steeper terrain. Now let's say you've been climbing for a few years now and your skill level has evolved. You're resorting to more vertical terrain in the Alpine. What axe do we need? Well, a tool like the Grieval Tech Machine shines in this terrain. It usually has an interchangeable pick. It has interchangeable and modular adds or a hammer. It has a band shaft and usually an ergonomic handle that helps a lot on steeper or vertical terrain. Now these tools, they're quite heavy. So if weight is an issue for you, Greenhold Dark Machine. This is a full carbon tool, less durable, but basically feather light. Now this one I am really excited about. It's the Camp Extreme. But why am I excited about this tool? Well, it has a modular handle on the bottom. It has a interchangeable blade. And because of this modular handle, it is suitable for ice as well as dry tooling terrain. So for steeper terrain, this is a Swiss Army knife. A common question we get is why wouldn't I just go for the most expensive and advanced technical axe on the market? Well, it's not that simple. So if you're a beginner, you're progressing and advancing your skill level quite rapidly. So you'll be moving to a lot of varied terrain, not just steep. So something like the Grieval AirTech will be more in its place. This is an axe that is straight, it has a neutral position, and it, is, it can withstand a lot of beating because of its durability. Now, if you're moving in your journey towards more 
steeper terrain more often, then yes, a Black Diamond Viper would be more on its place. Then, if you're progressing into more ice more often, yes, then a Grievel Tech Machine or a Camp Extreme would be more on its place. Now today in this video we use tools from specific brands, but of course there is a lot of brands out there. So you will have to see which brand is suitable for your style of climbing. 